most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good afternoon. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Diane Phillips. We have finally seen some snowfall here for the season and we are still going to be tracking more wet weather for the afternoon. The rain and snow showers, those are going to continue on as we still have the system that's circulating around the Great Lakes. It is going to continue to throw just some small rain and snow chances in. We will not be seeing any accumulations from the snow showers that we have for today. We also, I don't want to ignore the chance for some sunshine here along 127, the further north and west you go, you may start to see those clouds break apart. But if you're along and east of 75, you'll see some clouds. You'll also see some of these rain and snow showers. So the thumb is really going to be where we're adding up a lot of that precipitation, even through the evening commute. But we will still be watching for some wet weather by bedtime tonight. You can see the cold air coming over the bay, producing some rain showers at this point. And we'll still see more lake effect coming near the thumb into Friday morning. Some of these showers will be making it across to, off the water onto land, but the further inland you go, you'll find that the rainfall just can't make it that far west. So it's mainly the thumb that will be tracking the rainfall on Friday. A lot of us are going to be looking at mostly cloudy skies in between for Friday night plans. No issues as far as the wet weather, but again, we still will be monitoring the thumb and keeping a close eye to radar overnight and even into Saturday morning. But by Saturday late morning, we try to dry out the forecast. The clouds are still here. Those are pretty dominant, so we are going to find though that hopefully Hopefully your holiday weekend plans are in good shape. But starting Friday night, we do have the tree lighting and the fireworks, a part of holidays in the heart of the city, downtown Saginaw. Temperatures will be into the mid 60s for the evening. We'll have the cloud cover. That's what's going to be keeping it fairly steady in the temperature department. And it is going to be breezy with northwest winds popping up around 20, 25 miles per hour at times. Previewing that weekend, we're looking forward to it. We'll have some seasonal mid 40s and I do have dry weather in for both days. Now we do have conditions to where it still could get damp. It's a very close call, but right now we're just going to lean in with the cloud cover and hopes to keep it dry until we get into next week. So Monday and Tuesday, I do have a system that comes in bringing us some rainfall for the later half of Monday and even some raindrops and a few snow showers coming into your Tuesday. During this time frame, we're pretty seasonal with highs that'll be into the 40s, but we do see a drop in temperatures leading up into Thanksgiving. On Wednesday, we're having highs into the 30s with some dry weather for the travel. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.